No, it is just start off by talking about, you know, taking these two wins. Uh, now you're pouring out the Bulldog invitation. I'll talk about how it is. It's just great to be home once again with our fans. The environment is amazing, and just having them supporting us um, means a whole lot, and we just want to prove to ourselves, um, but also make our fans happy. We saw your family uh, up in the front row. How did it feel to have a good performance in front of them? Good. It's always good to have my family here. They love cheering on everybody else. They started giving players nicknames when they came up to bat, so that was also really enjoyable for the girls. Uh, could you talk about the performance in the circle there in the second game? I know Josie had six really hard-earned uh, shutout innings there before the seventh one got tricky, but Aspen came in and finished it off. Yes, um, they are a dynamic duo. They favor each other really well, and Josie held her own in that circle for a very long time. Um, and gave the offense some time for us to produce some runs and have her back. So her just being able to hold her own was really well. And then Aspen coming in and getting those next three batters out was really, really good. Um, and she held her own and proved herself in that three outs. And you guys also did well as defense, backing up your pitchers in the circle. Just talk about the performance from you guys defensively in these first two games today. Yes, um, just being confident in ourselves and wanting to do good for our team and supporting our pitchers. They've had our backs when we weren't producing or producing runs at the beginning. And so just making sure that they know that we have their backs no matter what. And those couple line drive catches that you made, <laughs> how's your hand feeling? My hand is good. My hand is good. <laughs> um, I had to get Josie back. I kind of messed up for the other day. So she was like, all right, now we're even. So that was good. But just trusting myself and knowing that the pitchers are going to hit their spot. So I know um, typically when the ball is going to come in my direction. So I get a little heads up before I get the hot shot. So, yeah. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nellie. Thank, Thank you, Nellie. How's it feel to hit a grand slam? It's my first one ever, so <laughs> it feels pretty nice. Could you talk about, uh, I mean, it's kind of a word of attrition out there, but um, staying focused and you know, keep swinging at your at-bats and yeah. just team kind of keeping it going? Yeah, I would say the past couple games I've struggled at the plate, so I just went back to the basics, and I was pretty locked in all game, and I knew – if she was going to throw me that change up, I was going to hit it. <laughs> so I was prepared for that pitch. And with your success at the plate, you also had a couple of outstanding defensive plays. Uh, just as you guys, as a defensive as unit, to back up your pitcher in the circle, uh, just talk about those plays that you guys made and, and backing up your pitchers. Yeah, our defense is just on locks this year. It really, we take our defense and then it fuels us at the plate. So if we make outstanding plays on defense and have a shutdown defense, then going up to the plate is a lot easier. So we just use that as momentum to keep going. And obviously you guys had two huge road trips to Mexico and California. How does it feel to finally be back at home and playing in front of your fans? Yeah, it's a, we love it here. It's the fans. I mean, I've heard we sold a lot more tickets than we have in the past. And just being here at State, it's just a different environment, and we're so happy to be back. Anything else? All right, thanks, Kyler. Thanks, thanks Kyler. Kyler. Coach, obviously you guys started off the Bulldog Invitational with Warno. Just talk about the team's performance today. Um, yeah, really happy with the way we came out. I thought we responded in game one, um, you know, looking to score early and often. I thought we kind of took a while to get going, but they really answered well. And it was good to get a lot of players in there, get them some time, some experience, um, uh, as well as different arms. And just trying to rest some of our pitchers and throwing a lot, I thought that was good. And then, you know, we knew we were going to have a good game with Troy. They're, that's their best pitcher, I think, that they were saving for this game. And we knew it was going to be a battle. And, I think we needed that game. I think we needed uh, a close game that came down to the end where we weren't pressing and just trusted our training and our pitching staff and what we were doing. And it was good to see that resolve and that fight out of the team late in the game today. Um, you know, big blow by Kylie there. And then Josie keeping us in it all game long and asking to shut the door. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about Josie's performance? I know she had a good night on Thursday, but really a war of attrition out there against Troy who maybe the best opponent you faced this weekend. Yeah, she, she looked great. I mean, she was attacking the zone, and even maybe on not her best day today. I thought Thursday she had command of all her pitches, uh, was having a little bit of trouble today mixing speeds like she did two days ago, but still, even without her changeup really working, still did a great job of keeping them off balance, getting ground balls, using her defense, uh, getting us some double plays. But just really love to see the confidence and the growth that she's had even in just one year. Because uh, we've thrown out there a lot in two years, and as a sophomore, you know, she really looks like an upperclassman this year. She's got the experience um, and just doing a great job of getting us big innings. It's uh, something we're going to need from her in SEC play. And you mentioned Kylie's grand slam and big hit and at the end of the game against Troy. Uh, to see what she's doing at the plate, but also in the field, just kind of talk about her performance so far this season. Yes, Kylie's a fun one to watch. Um, you know, she's just so explosive and athletic. You can do so many things well. You know, she's 
She can hit for power. She can run. She plays great defense as a big arm. Um, and you, anytime you know you're going to a freshman at shortstop, really up the middle with her and Salem, you know there's going to be some you know, learning along the way. But I think that both of them have just really jumped right in. And Kylie plays with so much confidence in her game. And it's you know, there's no doubt that she can come through for us in that moment. And it's just fun to see her continue to grow. And what she could be over four years is really exciting for us. Uh, she just does so many things really well. And it's been fun to watch her just the short amount of time we've had. And you mentioned the fact that you guys plugged in a lot of players and you got a lot of players off the bench to get some playing time today. What does that do for you guys as a team to just know that you have those players that you can plug in at any moment? Yeah, it, it really is great. We have a lot of depth, probably more depth than we've ever had uh, since I've been here. Um, and it's you know, all of the players, the ones that are out there every game and the ones you know, that maybe don't see as many opportunities, they work really hard day in and day out. And so just to be able to give them some opportunities to come in and just – I think the best thing about it is seeing their teammates just being so excited for them and just really having their back, wanting them to come through. Jane Bernie getting her first career hit um, and just how excited the entire dugout was for her or for Megan Davidson to get her first put out at third base. Just, I think, the little things. And those are the things that we try to celebrate as a program is just doing the little things right and the players that work hard day in and day out to get the opportunity and to get a chance. Um, it's just going to help them for their future because they're going to continue to get opportunities as we go through their careers. Um, and you know they're going to learn along the way, whether it's from experience being out there in some games, uh, at practice, or even in the dugout learning from their teammates is always a good plan for them. Else? All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.